Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is going to be board system test 29 with the Firelight MS4424B fire alarm system. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, for our first notification appliance on today's system, we have a Siemens UMCS remote strobe and this device is set on 75 candela. For our smoke detector in today's test, we have a system sensor 4WB smoke detector. If we move down, Still the Simplex 2098-9806 test switch. For our second notification appliance on today's system, we have a Potter SH1224R. This device is set on fixed 75 candela and we'll be doing code three. For our pool stations on today's system, we have a Faraday F1 GT Chevron. And if we move down, we have a Firelight B12L. Above my door, we still have the Siemens ZR-MCR remote strobe, and this device is set on 15 candela. All right, start off today's test, I'm gonna pull the Firelight BG-12 out. Here we go, in three, two, one. So. For next test today, I'm going to go ahead and activate the smoke detector by just spraying some smoke. Here we go. Should be enough. Should go off any second now. So. I will now go ahead and reset the pull station. So all I'm going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and insert my key. If I can get it in there, the wrong way. There we go. See the handle automatically comes back up. You will notice that there is a trouble on zone two. I have tried to fix this many times. I do not know why this is a problem. Um, I did look at the pool station. There is an end of line resistor there. Um, who knows, could be a problem with the panel. I don't know. Whenever I ever connect anything else to it, it's completely fine. It's only the BG-12 that really gives it an issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a system reset. For our final activation today, I'm going to pull the Faraday Chevron. Here we go. Three, two, one. I will now go ahead and reset this pool station. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my Allen key. I'm going to turn it. See the handle automatically comes back up. There's the inside. I'm going to close this back into place and lock it back up. Just like that. And now I'm going to go to the Mi Fire Alarm Control Panel. I'm going to hit System Reset. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.